Hi, everyone. This is Alan Knight and Maria Igarova. Hello. Saying hello on a Thursday. Is it Thursday or Friday today? Today is whichever day it is. It is what it is. Exactly. That is our life right now. How are you on this what is what it is day? <laughs> How are you doing, Maria? I'm doing really great. I had this um, a full moon meditation ritual with Master Ko, if people know. Master Ko from Panic Healing. Yeah. Uh, the, the meditation was uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time and four. 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I woke up before 4 a.m. to do three and a half hours meditation. Then I started working half an hour after I finished. And I pretty much went for like 20 hours without even having second cup of coffee. I just had one in the morning before work and pretty much it. So, wow. and I felt fantastic. I can tell that this is a bulletproof that the energy does not come ultimately from the food drinks it comes from our own body right so you must be very very spiritual right now after all that yes you see i have even a halo glowing wow. <laughs> this is how wow. I've so now we'll bring you down to earth from from the spiritual realm we're going to talk about something very down to earthy i was telling you before that a uh, number of my women friends have been complaining, and this has gone on for years, not just recent, but they complain a lot about men. There's this common, common expression I hear, men are jerks. And I think to myself, well, look, first of all, we know that not all men are jerks, but I hear that expression so often that I wonder, are most men jerks? And then I hear things like on the dating sites that one of the first strategies of a man is to send a picture of his you know what to the woman is dick that pics? true dick you pics said about dick pics correct dick pics that's what we're going to talk about i can't believe we're Yay! Talking about we finally have dick some pics. sort of topic that can grab more attention to it well let's not oh, talk about grab attention now you know let's not grab it <laughs> so you would have a lot more experience than me on whether this is true. Is it true? Is your experience been that way? I mean, I don't know experience about the, the um, website dating because I've done it like five years ago. And at that time, I don't think I've had experience like that. But I do have a lot of experience men sending me dick pics. Yes, it's like, it's like a 10 years experience. <laughs> So are we talking about the fact that they're actually sending these pics, not after an ongoing supportive relationship being developed, one of their first strategies out of the block is to send a picture of their dick? Sometimes people do that in relationship, and I think it's more about if it's agreed upon to yeah, people, That's different. Right? That's not what we're talking about here. But... Yes, it has happened to me personally a lot when people just either I, men, I'm not talking people, right? I'm talking just men. Either I hardly know them or literally we just said hi on Facebook and ta-da-da. Yeah, it, it really happens. So what do you think most women, not all, maybe some women actually like that, but the majority of quality women out there, what would be their reaction if they saw that? Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Something like that. So the the woman goes oh oh, and the man thinks, hey, she's gonna like this. Yeah, especially What's... it works. It works good when you send a messenger or WhatsApp because you you have a um, like uh, what is it? Uh, you can see when person actually saw the message, right? <laughs> right. So what what do you think is behind a man's thinking uh, that makes them think this is a good strategy? After spoken to quite a lot of uh, male friends that I have about it and maybe because I have a really good, good quality male friends that all of them are like what you know they, they don't understand that either but from what I understand it's more like lack of significance because you know we express uh, I mean, we meet our needs d different way. I think this is one of the way to meet a, a need when man is lacking significance, when he's not so important in whether his own life or 
um, life of his family, friends. I don't even know because some people may be married and do that. Maybe he is not feeling important in his married life. Some people do it because they're just desperately lonely. But in, in, in any case, it's more like, not, yeah, not being really important. So with this, it's like, let's not grab, right? But it's attention. See, my take on this is I don't think it's only men that are seeking this kind of attention. I think that because I've done a lot of online dating too, and I often got turned off when I would talk to the woman about relationships. And then all I'd hear for five or 10 or 15 minutes is what she's looking for in a man, what she's looking for in a relationship. Very rarely did I hear much about what she brings to the table, how she could care about someone, how, she, how they could do some interesting things together. It's more about me, 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 what I want. And a man is impressed. He, he, he finds things like cars and work and money and penises is the best he has to offer because he often doesn't really develop the more emotional side and has very little idea of what emotional intimacy is. So I think that's a big part of the thinking behind a man. I mean, I don't know as far as website, I mean, not, it's not, isn't it because you are expressing to one another what you're looking for? So I'm not sure if what you are saying, it's like. No, like, what I mean to some women, they say, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want, they make the checklist and it's about, all about them. Sometimes a woman could be that way. You know, it's mm -hmm. not that I, I, sh I shouldn't have brought it up in this case, because let's just talk about the dick. We're talking about the dick. And we're talking about men, so forget about the women's side. I, I might right. have I mean, the, isn't that what the website is for? Like, two people expressing what they're looking for. I mean, that's what I, I mean, at least five years ago, that's what the websites were for. I'm not sure. But I agree with you on the part that it's not about just me, 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 right? Basically, you become what you would like to have, right? If you would like to feel important, become that the most important person for yourself. But yeah, let's go to dick pics. <laughs> well, the, the dick pic, and I, and I think just in general, if people understood that they spent, if they spent a bit more time asking questions and listening, they would be better off. This is what I meant about some people say, I want this, I want this, I want this. And the guy get, shows his dick and shows his car and shows how much money he's making. We're both showing off. We're both talking about me, 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 me. But what I mean is, if, if the guy who sends the dicks had a greater sense of what women appreciate more about communication and about attentiveness and being cared about, being listened to, as opposed to just, sure, they want someone who's relatively ambitious and they want someone who they're physically attracted to, but it goes too much to the other side. So they're not really bringing out the emotional, intimate communication that, that I think is very important. Well, of course, as soon as you see that, you can right away, if you're in a really good level of self-development, right, and in connection with yourself, you can right away see how far this person is, like, from really being someone you could be interested potentially in, because it's right. just, I, I mean... I'm personally like, yeah, actually interesting point you brought it about the cars and stuff. When I do see somebody message that after say hi on Facebook, right? Because I connect with hundreds of people every day. I get turned off by this idea right away because I do see the significance again because it doesn't really matter whether it's a dick pic or it's a car or whatever. Like I, I notice it's a very similar reaction it's it's getting but it's the same thing it's significance it's what's me me lacking right yeah what would you say let's say there's some men listening that have used that strategy or continue to use that strategy and you were get, giving them advice you were saying listen uh you might want to consider uh what would you suggest they do rather than send a dick pic um i had conversations with a couple of men because there was a man I had to report even for much more inappropriate communication than just sending a dick pic. So it's gotten to that level when I ex actually, I try to speak with him and I really asked questions in order for me to understand from where that lack of significance coming from that he uh, had a, that desire to send a woman that he just said, hi to on internet this 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 information i'm not gonna disclose but it was really long and really vivid <laughs> if you if you use your imagination and um 
so basically I try to really find out some of the um, some of the I actually kicked my table I apologize the information just to I ask like um, what is the um, you know like how does that make you feel sending me this information so I ask this question because I'm very curious for the answer yeah, but what if he just answers and say, I feel good about it? Because he wouldn't probably send it unless he felt good about it. No, I'm not asking how do you feel. I mean, it's like, what do you feel when you uh, pretty much get it? What does that, you know, helps you with? And but what would you recommend to someone who does that and says, oh, if you don't think this is a good idea, could you give me some tips? What do you recommend I do that will be more effective in my communication with women? Mm -hmm. I had clients who asked me that question, but it wasn't about dick pics, but also just like how to establish conversation. So it's more like um, trying to get to know a woman, basically, what is she um, doing is like, if you know, what she's doing for life. I mean, if you know, if you don't see what it's listed for she doing, or even if you see it, just say, Oh, hey, I'm curious about what do you do? I mean, can you like tell me how do you do it? They look like, looks like when you do whatever you do, you know, it's like, oh, uh, it seems like you live in such and such place. How do you like it? Is there anything in particular that you like about it? So it's just like re that would really makes women feel that she's important, which is one of the basic need f feminine energy needs really you know being seen heard understood and feel important so that's just one of the first steps that you can I, do. I agree 100 percent. my experience because i i evolved over the years i used to be fairly superficial myself but i found that the irony is if a man aspires and a lot of men do aspire to be physical with a woman even if that was their goal they're better off establishing a rapport if they establish a rapport and there's trust and communication and the woman is more enamored by that, they have a better chance that there's going to be a physical reality to it than if they just send their dick pic. Amen <laughs> for your evolvement in life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not saying, really I'm not saying to use it as a kind of a manipulative strategy, but the reality is it's true if you build a rapport. So now that we've solved the dick pic problem, we're telling people, if, you, if you're using that strategy, it's not working. Get to know someone, build rapport, ask good questions, be conversational, and build trust over a period of time. Yeah, because dick pics, I'm telling you, it is the biggest turn off in, on like any level, like absolutely anyway. Because it's like, think about it. Let's reverse it, right? What if a woman sends, you know, part of her body? I know part of you will be like, woo! I know, I know. I really get it. I coach men and I am really good friends with a lot of male. Uh, Don't compare um, the two. They're not comparable. <laughs> yeah, but still it's like, yeah, I get it. You know, we also, you know, don't get me wrong. We mean also like, you know, being uh, very intimate and sexual, but it's more about like, yeah, it's when they get to know. It's about being and appropriate. It's, and, and with somebody that they feel comfortable, trust, yeah. because safety and security, it's another one of the, like another main uh, need that fem feminine needs to have in Absolutely. order to establish this rapport uh, with with men. So so think about it like you are a man who gone through some involvement in life, right? Who's really about soulmates and stuff, and then all of a sudden you receive this. I mean, it's like you. So what part of you gonna? We, just, we even know which part of you, right? But it's gonna really yeah, but it, be it has, happy. But it has to do with maturity. When I was, you know, when men are more emotionally immature and physical is the primary primary thing they're looking for. You know, I'm sure there was a stage in my life where I was drawn into that much more quickly. But then after a period of time, if someone does that, it's a turnoff, because I know that it's, it's nice, the physical body is nice, but that's not all I'm after. I'm after a quality communication and relationship. Yeah. So having said that, if there are men out there, Maria, who have the problem of sending dicks out too quickly and they want to get in touch with you for coaching, how to turn that around. How do they get in touch with you? Yes. My uh, dear man, <laughs> I, um, yeah, if you have problems like this, that you, you don't know how to start, start conversation with a woman besides sending a dick pic, you can find me. <laughs> um, so I could help you to start this conversation. Uh, you can go to my website www.mariaigorovacoaching.com. We are going to post it somewhere here around. 
And uh, you can also find me on Facebook. Both of my pages are very active, my business and personal, Maria Igorova, and my Instagram as well. It's coach underscore Maria Igorova. Wonderful. And if there are any men out there who want to raise the bar in becoming a true gentleman, more of a true gentleman, so you have more success in attracting quality relationships, you can connect with me at alanknight.com or soulmate revolution, facebook.com forward slash soulmate revolution. And we're all about heart-centered relationships. Maria, this was wonderful That's talking right. about dick pics. Heart. Heart. Heart-centered relationship. Not, not the dick heart pics to heart. <laughs> not the heart. This, this one right here, right? Oh, my God. This is getting worse. Maria, <laughs> great chatting with you. You too. Bye-bye.